Good morning my friends and watchers and welcome to a, uh, another day and we are out in Gouldhurst today um, yeah not too sure exactly where it is but about uh, about 20 minutes outside of Hastings um, so yeah not an area I tend to tend to come to but um, a lady contacted me regarding this job uh, sandstone patio about 100 square meters and it's got a quite nasty lichen or lichen, lichens whatever you pronounce it um, and uh, yeah there's white there's a uh, black and it's slimy and slippery as hell um, so I thought I'd oblige and uh, take a little trip down here so uh, let's go and have a little look at uh, what we're up to today right okay let's start at the front so nothing too exciting up here just a small little path to the front of the house um, then working down this way and the uh, the customers recently just had all new uh, side tiles uh, installed hence the reason why the patio is a little bit orange um, but you can see we've got some crusty white lichen and it is really slippery the um, the dust is not making it very nice um, we've got a little wall here perimeter go around the outside and um, that's going to get a uh, bit, bit of a clean it's a little bit crumbly on top it's got to be a bit gentle on that um, this is going to be getting a full bleaching treatment um, this needs um, needs some heavy stuff so yeah we've got the wall to do it's a bit green put a bit of chem on that so it's getting the full chem treatment um, so it's going to be pressure cleaned or well, gently ish remove a lot of the surface muck as possible you see a lot of this brick dust um, I've got a few sunken slabs not worried too much about them uh, and the mortar here is really bad in places you can see it's really badly breaking away um, got some steps in typical British fashion it is raining as usual this year has been atrocious for weather uh, it's really green down here. I so say we've got a lot of uh, a lot of lichen spores down here. So this will be getting the full bleaching treatment. Um, so yeah, pressure washing, bleaching. Uh, if I can, I want to be able to try and set you up on the tripod, but my waterproof camera seems to go a bit hazy during humid weather because obviously it's enclosed in a, um, a waterproof housing, um, and it tends to go a bit misty. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. So you see, there was some plants uh, across here that were encroaching on the wall, hence the reason why we've got this lovely black stain right the way along the bottom. We'll get rid of that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's what we're up against today. Um, we may be doing a slight postponement. We may be doing the clean today and then the bleaching another day purely because the weather is not really favorable. Um, with lichen and heavy fungus, if it's been there a long time, you're gonna to want to need a strong hit of chem. And obviously when it's raining, it's just gonna dilute it too quickly. Um, and obviously it needs to be dwelling for quite some time to really kill off those lichen spores. A three to one mix on this is just not gonna cut it. You'll get rid of some of the dirt and the algae, but it really won't cut those, uh, those lichen spores. So we'll be using practically neat hypo on this um, yeah I know people say we're using it neat it's a waste to be honest with you I want the job done I want it done, done quick I want the customer happy within a couple of hours and I can do that with neat hypo right it is starting to smash it down my camera's getting wet I'll speak to you soon
Wow, oh my God, that clean took me a while. Um, as you saw, well, you probably would have seen in the, uh, the high shot, where's my hand, here it is, in the high shot at the back there, um, it's got a lot of white lichen. Now, white lichen is crusty. Um, it's completely different to the black stuff. Um, it's very sort of calciferous, um, so it sits on the slab and it doesn't really have much reaction to the, to the hypo. If you spray the white, um, sort of whitey, greeny colored lichen with hypo, it doesn't really react. It doesn't do the same thing it does with the dirt and with the black lichen. So you have to get rid of that crusty white lichen first, which obviously requires a fair bit of pressure. Now, as you saw, the mortar here is really, really bad. I didn't particularly want to damage it too much. So obviously you have to go a little bit gentle, try and sort of scoot around the outside of the lines and just blow over the lines really, really gently. Um, but the clean is now finally finished and it's taken me probably best part of four hours um, it's only 100 square meters but it was quite painstaking I didn't want to use excessive pressure because obviously because of the mortar lines um, I used a single turbo because it just cuts through the the white lichen the crustiness so it kind of cuts the heads off um, and we're going to be getting ready to do a little bit of the um, the bleaching um, like I said before I want this to work I want it to work quick I'm using it neat um, and it works uh, I know it works I've used it many many times neat um, so yeah, I'm going to give you a little show around, show you what I've done so far, and you could obviously see the difference. Um, I'm not going to show the bleaching process because it takes a long time, and obviously you've seen it before, and it's just me spraying down some chemical. Um, so basically, I'm going to take you for a little wander around so you can see what I've done, and, um, and then I'm just going to basically put the, uh, the hypo down. I'll leave for about 45 minutes, go back, have a little check. There's probably going to be some residual spores, some tough ones, might need a little bit of an extra kick. So we'll give that another little spray. Uh, another 45 minutes and then rinse it all off. Maybe a little bit of a turbo on top just to cut through any of the residual ones that are left behind and it should look brand new. Right, let's go for a little wonder. So this is the step at the front. This has all had like a pre-clean. Pre get your set up on my hand. So most of the white lichen has all been removed. Um, just the black stuff remains, because obviously that's a tough little cookie. Um, and I put some bleach down here, some hypo down here, um, just to obviously do a test to show the customer what it's gonna look like when it's finished. Um, as you can see, there is, uh, apart from a couple of uh, black spots, it's pretty much all gone, as in comparison to here. So yeah, let's go for one around the back. Uh, now white lichen is quite aggressive, um, it's quite damaging, you can still see, although the lichen has actually come out, it almost like it acid etches the stone. Now I'm hoping the, um, the hypo may help to blend it a little bit, but unfortunately because of the nature of it, it does tend to be a little bit, um, leave behind some clean spots. So you can still see there's obviously some residual dirt, that'll come out with the uh, chem. Um, Now this wasn't a lichen infection, this was a bloody invasion. It was everywhere. You saw from the, um, the previous walk around video that we did, uh, as the steps have uh, blown across the walls as best I can. Um, this has obviously been down about 20 years. Uh, customers been here nine months a year. They've never cleaned it. And the wall probably certainly never have been cleaned in its life. Hence the reason why you got a lot of um, residual muck and just aged dirt on there and um, chances are it's probably not going to come out it might make it a little bit better with some with some hypo but not a lot so yeah out here was really bad there's still the odd slab of a little bit left behind um, but you can still see where it's spotty where the lichen lichen spores were um, so hoping maybe a little bit of chem uh, nasty there was a massive bush that was growing there look at all that residual algae there on that slab, that's been jet washed. Um, but yeah, as you can see already, it's a massive improvement, it's a lot brighter. And um, yeah, you still got a lot of, uh, lot of lichen underneath the wall. Like I said, there was a plant there all the way across the wall, which obviously encroached on the, um, on the wall. And that's why you get the lichen um, uh, particularly heavy under there because obviously anywhere where it's damp and where it's shaded, lichen loves it. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna go and hook up my pump sprayer. Um, my previous video, people asked me about my pump sprayer. It's a Sherpa Deluxe. 
Um, you can just see it up there in the distance. Um, I modify it myself. Uh, I can put a Vitten pump in it and I'll put quick release connections on it and stuff like that. It's a pretty good pump, about 100 quid. My other um, yellow one that was in my previous video. Got other videos, gave okay, up the Ghost. Um, so I basically bought that, but I only use that on stronger doses because my Dosatron and obviously my X-Jet doesn't go as high as I need it. So I just chuck it in the old good old backpack sprayer where it's got a trolley, comes with a little trolley, quite a little neat thing. Um, does me proud. How long it would last on the everyday use, not too sure. Hold 16 litres. Um, I mean, I only use it probably once, once a month, maybe. Um, once every six weeks. So it's not heavy duty use by any means. Um, but yeah, they go through pumps, even Vitten pumps. It'll go through um, probably one a pump a year. They're only about 23, 25 quid for a pump. So um, you can just replace them. They're quite easy. It comes off the, uh, the trolley quite well. Right, I'm going to crack on with some uh, some bleaching work before the before it rains again. We'll catch up with you soon. So it's now uh, about 20 past three in the afternoon. Uh, the uh, hypo has been down. Oh, I started off just out here, and I've done the whole the whole lot all the way around. Um, so the hypo is probably down out, out here about 45 minutes. So um, let's go and take a looky look and see how it's getting on. So as you can see out here, it's got a bit of surfactant in it and already massive massive improvement it was really heavily uh, loads of black spot around here lichen black spot lichen um, a few little spores left behind you'll probably not get rid of this 100% um, depends how long the spores have been there and it's uh, just sprayed a bit on the drain covers um, just one tip if you're using these uh, pump sprayers go easy on the surfactant um, I put surfactant obviously in my hypo for when I'm using like the X-Jet or the Dosatron um, and that just thing just foams up like a pig to a point where you can only top it up with about three litres every time because there's so much foam in it, it just spills over the top. So yeah, so here we go. We are out the back. It did start to spit lightly um, just after I had done the, um, the section over here but it's um, still going all right as you can see. Oh, it's massive, massive difference. Uh, can't really see that slab over there at the green. Uh, it's definitely coming out. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's working wonders. It's been down about 45 minutes out here. And um, hypose uh, is a strange chemical. Uh, and a lot, a lot of people don't understand how it works. They, it's, I mean, it is a miracle product. Um, but one, it has a shelf life. It has a half life. If you're using 14, 15%, um, sodium hypochlorite has a half life of about three to six months, depending on how you store it. Um, so basically, uh, a half life means that within sort of three to six months, the strength will drop by half. Uh, and the stronger the, the chemical, the quicker it deteriorates. So if you're using 14, 15%, it'll get a half life of around three to six months. If you're using something like a 10%, it tends to be a little bit longer, around about eight months. Um, but I get a lot of people saying, hypo doesn't work rubbish hypo works every time if you've got a fresh batch um, now obviously because it goes off um, i've had people that said oh yeah well i've had a, had a leftover batch from last year it's not going to cut it you know um, a year later or 10 months later that hypo is going to be weak as water um, so chuck it in the bin and get a fresh batch if you have a fresh batch it will look like this and it works wonders um, be wary of sellers on eBay, Amazon, selling Hypo. The problem is when you're buying it, if it looks too cheap, it probably is. Um, if they've had it in store for a long time, the chances are it may not be 14, 15%. If you can source your Hypo for a reputable supplier, um, maybe somebody who actually bottles the stuff up as a, you know, sort of like a wholesaler, um, you're almost guaranteed to get fresh stuff. Um, so if you're buying it online, it seems too cheap. Um, the chances are it probably is not as strong as they make it out to be, or it's been stuck in store for a long time. Um, other thing with Hypo, uh, it tends to react with the first thing it comes into contact with. So you may find that you've 
may watch some videos on, on YouTube, people doing soft washing, it's not quite worked properly. Um, the problem with Hypo is obviously if you're using general cleaning strength of around sort of three to one, four to one, and you are relying on that Hypo to try and shift years and years of dirt without pressure washing, the chances are it's not gonna remove it all. Um, when you spray Hypo down, it reacts with the dirt. The first thing it comes into contact with, it. it it, it reacts with. It's not the sort of chemical that will, will penetrate and keep, you know, sort of going through the layers of muck. It will work on the first layer, second layer, whatever, and then it will stop working. Um, unless you're using really, really strong, sort of 50-50 upwards strengths, um, it's not gonna work that well using three to one, four to one mix ratio if you're just spraying it down, hoping it's gonna do the job for you. You will see in a lot of my videos, I either use Hypo as a, a pre-treat and then I jet wash. Um, I never spray it down and walk away because you just cannot rely on sodium hypochlorite to do the work for you. And it's a miracle product when used properly. And you will find that if you can remove as much of the surface dirt as possible um, before you apply it, you will find that it will work a lot, lot better for you. Um, so you basically use it to remove the residual dirt and residual algae staining and the lichen spores, which is what we're doing here. Um, yeah, if I was to spray this straight down onto a dirty patio, it will attack the dirt and probably will not touch the lichen spores. So you want to clean it first, get rid of as much of the dirt as possible, give the, ble give the bleach, the hypo, an easier time and let it concentrate on what you really want it to shift. So you want it to shift those ly lichen spores, clean it, it will attack the lichen. You can see out here now, you've got one or two dots left behind. This has only been 45 minutes. This is practically ready to rinse. You know, along the edge here, it was really, really bad. And it is literally all gone. Yes, this is strong. I use this strong because I want it to work and I want it to work quickly. I dare say if I diluted this down, it will probably do exactly the same, but with how bad this patio was, I don't want to take the risk. For the sake of a, of a, a few litres of chemical, I want to be able to get, get in, put this stuff down, get the job done and get the result within a couple of hours. Let's just take you up the steps. You can see that strong doses of Hypo, the customer is pre-warned that it can turn the edges of the grass white. Let's just zoom you in a little bit. See where it goes up along the edges? So if you intentionally spray this onto grass, it will turn it white. It won't necessarily kill it because it's not a weed killer. So there's a higher shot and you can see it is a massive, massive difference. The customer uh, went out about 45 minutes ago, but they were well impressed and it hadn't even had the chemical put down. So yeah. I'm going to um, shut this off and then I'm going to give it another 45 minutes, maybe give it another little spritz and little bit. There's a couple of spots just down there by my shadow. Here. There we go. A couple of spots just here that could do with another little spritz in. Um, and yeah, and then we'll come back when it's all done, do a final shot of when it's all finished, rinsed, and the job is complete. Right, back soon. So we are all wrapped up here. We are ready to go home. It is now uh, quite late, I don't know what time it is, but I know it's quite late, probably knocking on quarter past five. And it looks like the heavens are gonna open. So it looks like we have just finished this in the nick of time. Uh, so yeah, it's all been bleached, all been rinsed, all finished. Uh, customers over the moon, um, as I would be too. This was proper mucky. Um, and now it looks a million dollars. Let's go and take a look. Here's the front. All that nasty black stuff's gone. A couple of spots, but that's to be expected. I'm gonna try and do this fairly quickly because I can hear thunder in the distance. Go for a wander around here. See, they come up lovely. Look at them, look. Yeah, nice drain covers. And you see, you can still see um, like where the white lichen has kind of etched itself onto the stone, um, but all in. It's a massive, massive difference. We've done the wall, and we've got a lot of sort of old, like 20 year old efflorescence on there. That ain't gonna come out too quickly. So yeah, here we go. Nice and bright. 
massive difference compared to what it was when we uh, turned up this morning. Let's uh, go up the steps. Clean balls, gotta make sure your balls are clean. So it's kind of drying, still damp in places. But yeah, look at that, there's that nasty, there's that nasty one that was all green. And it's uh, still a bit damp, but massive difference. I'm uh, well chuffed with this. It's turned out way better than expected. It took me a lot longer because of the white lichen. I had to get shot at that with the old turbo. But all in, good day's work. Right. Let's uh, pan your back round. Oh, dark face, here we go. So yeah, we're all done. Another job wrapped up. Got a couple of days off now, be quite nice. See if I can get this video uploaded, get it edited. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. Uh, this is a long-winded video, so it's gonna need a bit of cutting out. So uh, we'll see how long it is by the time you guys get to see it. Um, but yeah, I was cleaning for about three and a half hours. So uh, yeah, edited needed, a little bit of, bit of, bit of clipping. But uh, that's it from me. Happy cleaning. Bye for now.